<clears throat> okay, by now I know a lot of people are thinking I'm a complete not a nutcase, but hey ho, be that as it may, right? We can all see that something is going down here, right? And we're all collectively facing our own shadows. Um, Doreen Dotan in Israel just made a fantastic video. Sovereigns know, subjects speculate, right? And she talks about how the governments are faltering now. And they're getting ever more desperate. And the, the silly theatre pieces that they produce for us are no longer working. Because increasingly, we are all doing our shadow work. I'm finding so many individuals now that are just popping up for me, right? Little channels that I've never seen before where people are really sitting and doing digging, deep digging, right? So if we understand Neville correctly, and there's not just Neville, there's other people out there as well, right? And it says in the Bible, does it not pray for your enemies, okay? So may I make a suggestion? So Doreen just spoke about the fact that because we don't self-govern, because we are not sovereign, because we can't control our own imagination, which is where the kingdom is, um, that they actually take over our minds. And they're getting cheekier and cheekier and more and more disrespectful because why wouldn't they? Because we're like little dollies here being swayed this way and that way and the other, right? So then the servant becomes the ruler. They are there to serve us, not to govern our minds. Okay. Now, if we take this verse in the Bible, pray for your enemies. And if we take Neville Goddard, so... <sighs> Summon a politician in your inner vision. Do this playfully, you know, start playfully interacting with what spirit is showing you. It will be different for every one of us. But it is really important that we try and quiet the mind and, and, you know, take little things as signs. Like, for instance, that falcon that, that I watched today. They're, they're very rare. I've, I've, I've seen, I don't know, three of those birds here since I've been here. So it's, a, it's not an everyday occurrence that I should see two falcons playing. So it's a sign. So I looked up the spiritual meaning of that. And it's really interesting for me personally. So if you have these little encounters, check up their meaning because everything here has meaning. Everything is talking to you. Everything is knocking on your door. Hello, wakey wakey. So summon a politician to your inner eye and have a conversation. Let's say, I mean, I don't know why Tony Blair keeps popping in for me. I can't get him out of my head right now. So I'll go into a meditation and I'll see Tony Blair. And I'll talk to him. Hi, Tony. It's so nice to see you. I am so happy to see you, Tony. You've now finally made the right decision. I am so grateful to you, Tony, that you're now deciding to look after the people. Thank you, Tony. And do that with your heart. Really mean it. Bring that person to your mind and really, really mean it. Because Spirit knows when you're dithering or when you're lying or when you don't mean it. So really come deep from your heart. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. 
imagine Tony Blair as a little child and you hold him and you rock him you take that little child little Tony oh Tony what happened to you I'm so sorry Tony I'm so sorry that happened to you I'm here now I love you I love you 